Hi guys, this is Pooja Gupta. Welcome to Media Mentor. In this video, I'm going to talk about Mumbai University registration process of 2022 has started, which all courses have started, who all can apply right now. So guys, make sure that you watch the video till the end. I'm going to share all the details so far. What is the update with Mumbai University admission process and the courses? As we know, because of the pandemic and the exam didn't happen, a lot of things were happening last year. So most of the students have not taken admission. Jo gap year aap bolte ho, so all the students, those who have taken gap year, unko drop ya aisa kuch nahi hota hai, aapko sirf ek gap certificate lagega to take the admission. Aur wo bhi aapka admission ho jane ke baad. So there is no different procedure for the drop year student. You just have to make sure that you make a gap certificate. Aap normal tarike se apna jo form hai, भर सकते हो जैसे कि रेगुलर स्टूडेंट्स भरेंगे वैसे ही आप अपना रेगुलर फॉर्म भरोगे सो प्लीज डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट देयर इज नो डिफरेंट प्रोसीजर और ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि आपको अलग से परसेंटेज वगैरह दिया जाएगा एक या दो साल का जो गैप है इट्स परफेक्टली ऑलराइट now let's move on to which registration started in Mumbai University. जो मैं पहले ये बता देती हूँ कि कौन सा नहीं शुरू हुआ है. तो all the Indian students आप कोई भी state में हो, please don't worry. Mumbai University का अभी तक कोई registration शुरू नहीं हुआ है. So the important dates that you have to keep a note of about Mumbai University admission process, जो कि शुरू होने वाला है in the month of May. So fourth week of May, uh, the application forms will be opening up, जहाँ पे आपको register करना पड़ेगा. Then end will be on 2nd of June. So students also have exams. Do not worry. Till June the admission process will stay. So there are few students who are from CBSC, ICSC. They are worried that our exams are late. You have time till 2nd week of June to register in Mumbai University. Then the merit list will start coming on the 4th week of June and the whole admission process and everything will go on till the end of July. So this was for the UG program. Now moving on to the PG program. PG program ka bhi jo dates hai, wo first week of June mein aapke forms aa jayenge. So those who are applying for uh, PG, please make a note of it that first week of June 2022, the forms will come out. And yes, the process will go on for one month and then after that your merit list will come out. Now moving on to PhD courses. So those who are planning to apply for PhD courses, same thing first week of June mein the registration process will start. So all the students who are giving their board exams, please do not worry. CUET Mumbai mein applicable nahi hai merit list pe ya entrance exam of a particular college ke via hi aapka admission hoga. This video is particularly for the students who are NRI, OCI uh, and NR student. Unke liye kuch details mein banaye. Because the registration process for foreign students, international students is started in Mumbai University. So there's a lot of process that you have to follow. So make sure guys that you watch the video till the end who are in international students it will help you a lot the only registration process for the admission in like arts commerce and science it started for foreign students jo ki india ke nahi hai but oci hai like you know overseas indian students abroad rehte hain so as you can see the circular ye aa chuka tha feb end mein that all the fr fs pio oci and nri students ke liye registration shuru ho gaya hai and till 31st of july aap apna registration kar sakte ho so people from all across the globe those who want to come and study in india in mumbai university they can start their application and it is being accepted so all the international students, you will have to go on the Mumbai University portal, which is mu.admissiondesk.org to make this application. And, and the document which you see on my screen, I have put a PDF link in the description box. You can just open that and read it because my video is in little English, like, you know, I'm using Hindi in between. So if you are confused anywhere, once you read the document, it will be completely clear for you. So moving on to foreign student, they have given the eligibility also, like, you know, how FR, FS, persons of Indian origin, PIO, OCI, whichever passport you hold, according to your passport, there is certain procedure that you have to follow. So make sure that you read the document carefully and still, if you have any question, you can write down in the comment box below. I will try and help you out. So for all the NRI students, OCI, PIOs, FR, FS, you have to make sure, as I said, you have to visit the portal, then follow the instruction. You have to pay a registration fee. So now how this whole process work as you can see the first point affiliated college recognized institutes academic department of the University of Mumbai are not permitted 
to admit international students directly to the faculty of arts so why they have started the admission process prior because directly international students won't be able to take an admission so they have to make sure that they have to pay the eligibility fees which is approximately 50 dollars per student on the portal which i mentioned already mu.admissiondesk.org so this is the compulsory step that you have to take as an international student if you want to take admission in mumbai university edulab educational exchange private limited is an authorized company who takes care of verification of your documentation and everything and let me tell you guys they charge you like every college will send you to edulab and you will have to pay approximately 20000 to 50000 to 1 lakh rupees and this they claim to be an official fee so i just want you guys to rectify this before itself because once you take an admission uh, even i know few of the students who are like you know oci and nris they had to pay this heavy amount but i just want to request you that pay this official amount via an official check and make sure that you don't do any cash transaction and take everything in writing to escape any kind of cheating if somebody is trying to let me be honest it's not complicated but like a very tedious process it goes to edulab then it goes for eligibility then you know there is a letter that you receive you have to send the letter to international.admission at mu.ac.in now all these things will happen then the admission processing fees as i told you that you have to pay a certain amount which is like a huge amount but yes it is legal and it's a part of the system so guys let me tell you this is a long document that you have to follow according to your nationality according to the passport that you hold so you have to read it thoroughly i won't be able to explain each and every step because every passport and nationality will have little bit of different uh, documentation process so you will have to make sure that you read and follow the instructions accordingly but as i said 50 dollars which is the fees for eligibility that is non-refundable you have to pay that you have to make sure that you go via each and every process that has been mentioned in this document coming to the most important uh, part which is the huge amount as i said 1150 dollars is your admission processing fees which is non-refundable again at any cost so what happens guys in this process you will have to take your college help you will have to talk to the principal make sure you know the parents who are trying to get their child admitted in any particular college have a word about this prior itself because i know few of the students who got to know this heavy amount of fees will be charged after they took a admission in a particular college so make sure that you speak about uh, this to the college principal and be clear about it so if you read the document it is clearly written there that you have to mandatory pay so much of amount i hope guys the video was helpful do let me know in the comment box below that what help you need for the admission process and everything and if you need any personal counseling session or uh, you know consultation you know you can get in touch with me on the number given in the description box thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for a lot of such informative videos on media mentor don't forget to like share and subscribe and yes you will get all the updates on my instagram page all the important dates and everything on my channel exclusively